This PCB is absolutely amazing. Using this single PCB, you can create multiple exciting projects. And for example, here I have made a simple distance measurement system, a mini weather station, and even you can convert this PCB into ESP8266 module. Plus, you can also use it as an ESP8266 shield. And a big thanks to GLC PCB for sponsoring this video. They provide premium quality PCB at a very affordable price. And if you will use their 6 layer PCBs, then you can save plus $30. And if your PCB size is 15 to 50 mm, then you can order them just $2. And they also offer multicolor silk screen PCBs where you will get a $10 off. Ordering is super simple, upload your Garbo file, choose your PCB quantity and even you can select your favorite PCB color. Keep the default setting as it is and if you need a stencil just click the stencil option and add it to your cart and check it out. It take roughly 1-2 to two week for the parcel to arrive and I receive mine in just 7 days. As you can see, I have ordered a lot of PCBs for my upcoming projects, so let's unbox all of them. After unboxing, the 6 layer PCB quality is just awesome and in green color, it looks super amazing. So let's assemble our PCB. First, I will place the SMT stencil on the top of the PCB and apply solder press. Then I will carefully place all the SMT components like our WS2812B LED, a 3.3 voltage regulator and a mini SPST switch. After that I will solder all the components using my mini soldering station. Once the components are soldered, I will add female header pins on the back of the PCB for connecting an old MCU later. And I will also add two 4 pin female header on the top of attaching peripherals like OLED display, ultrasonic sensor, and many more. Now our PC is fully assembled. So, first, I am going to make a distance measurement system. And to make this distance measurement system, I am going to use a OLED display. And to measure the distance, I am going to use ultrasonic sensor. And now it's time for coding and I have already done the program so simply I will upload the code into our node MCU. Once the code is uploaded the distance appears on the OLED display. When I place my head in front of the sensor it shows the exact distance between my hand and the sensor. To make it portable I have also added a mini lithium ion battery. And to check the accuracy of our system, here I am going to use a ruler for reference and as you can see the distance from the object and the sensor is accurate as in the ruler. So our system is working perfectly. Next I use the same PCB to make a mini weather station with a BMP sensor. I upload pre-written code and as you can see the OLED now shows the current temperature, pressure and altitude. And I have also programmed the WS2812 to be LED to indicate the temperature level. Green indicates the temperature below 30 degree and yellow indicates that our temperature is between 30 to 35 degree. And red indicates that our temperature is above 35 degree. So as you can see our mini weather station is also working absolutely fine. So let's move on to our next project. Now I am going to turn the same PCB into a custom ESP8266 module. Following the same process, I use the SMT stencil, apply the solder paste and place all the necessary component and solder all the components. And as a result, we have a functional custom ESP8266 module. This module supports peripherals like OLED display, BMP sensor, DST sensor and even an LDR sensor. So, so obviously I have upgraded our traditional ESP8266 into a powerful 
ESP8266 is where we can add display, we can add sensors and many more. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you didn't, don't forget to support us by liking, sharing and subscribing to our channel. Also check out JLC PCB for premium quality PCBs, the link in the video description. See you in the next video.